For those of you who are taking discourse analysis, today's August 31st, 2021. Today, we're going to expand our analysis to include now tense and aspect. So today, we're going to go into our breakout rooms. We're going to spend today, actually the rest of the week, working on our analysis. I think it's best to take a look first at the tense and aspect uh, card that I have here. And you might want to download either this image or an image that's similar, that provides similar information about the different verb tenses. We're going to be focusing our analysis on tense and aspect. So the tenses being present, past, and future, and the aspects being simple, continuous, perfect, and perfect continuous. So we are very much interested now looking at how verbs are being used. And in this particular image, we have not only an example, but we have also different uses. Different uses for each of the verb tenses slash aspects. So in our analysis this week, we're going to expand. We're going to continue looking and uh, analyzing theme and ream patterns. We're going to continue looking at hyponyms and hypernyms, looking also cases where there are synonyms and uh, repetition. We're also going to be looking at references. So anaphoric, cataphoric, and exaphoric references are also going to be included in this week's analysis. But we're going to go now and look specifically at verb tenses as well. I would like for us to look for authentic spoken text from the classroom. And we talked yesterday a little bit about looking at some of the courses that we're currently taking, perhaps some courses that you're giving if you're teaching classes including uh, this class um, in terms of looking for authentic classroom discourse. Now, in Microsoft Teams, I've uploaded a sample. This was from yesterday's class where I included some instructions for an activity with the uh, Prope group. So if you want to use this as an example, that's fine. If you have, again, uh, some recordings from any of your prior classes, Maybe look at where the teacher was giving instructions. Uh, you don't have to analyze the entire class, but you're looking for certain sections of that class that you can analyze or excerpts of a particular class where either the teacher was giving instructions or giving a, a lecture, or if it was a back and forth, a question and answer, kind of a, an exchange um, situation where you had an initiation response follow-up. You don't have to include exchanges for the purposes of this week's analysis. But, of course, if you have examples of that, um, that's, that's fine. I, am, I want us to focus more on theme and ream patterns, hyponyms, hypernyms, references, and now verb tense, uh, tense and aspect frequency. So our analysis really is going to lead up to how often certain verb tenses are being used, which verb tenses and aspects are being used, and what kind of situation presents itself where these verb tenses are being used. So this week's activity is going to allow us to look deeper into which verb tenses are going to be used, frequency, and this is something you can include in your analysis. Now, I've included a... Um, step-by-step -step checklist here. Let's go back to Trello. This is the assignment itself. So there are two cards called tense and aspect. One that says a tense and aspect analysis, and the other one is tense and aspect. So the tense and aspect is just the input, uh, basically just the, the verb tense PDF file, essentially. And the second card is where you'll find the actual checklist where you can see what to do the steps to complete this task. And this is what we can work on today. And I've included a link to the video where I explain how you can transcribe audio and video to Microsoft Word. If you have another software program that you'd prefer to use, that's fine. But I've included a link here. And I've also included a card to a prior discussion we had on Ream and Theme, if you need that to review. But here are the items that we need to try to complete for this week. And today we're going to spend uh, the rest of the class working on this task. I'll be online, of course, if you have any questions 
Or if you want me to enter the breakout room to address the entire group, your team, then certainly we can take class time to uh, do that. So this is what we're going to be working on this week. We're going to have the rest of the week to complete the task, but I'm going to be giving class time for you guys to work uh, in teams to try to get as much done as possible in class.